The Canadian township of Kingston, Ontario carries on a tradition of shipbuilding that dates back more than 300 years. Since 1987, Metalcraft Marine has been building patrol and rescue boats here. We mainly do fireboats. That's been our niche since just after 9-11. This is a fireboat, uh, shoots about 12,000 plus GPM at 150 PSI and travel about 46 knots, around 52 miles an hour. A leader in jet boat design, the company's award-winning Firestorm 70 is revered around the world, from Canada to Panama, from the US to Dubai. This is one of the fastest firefighting boats in the world with the highest pumping capacity, which ultimately saves lives. And that's what it's about. When we design the boat, we don't necessarily know what that emergency is going to be. So we need to design the boat so that it can do any one of those emergencies. Whatever that emergency is, this boat has to be there. The high-speed aluminum Firestorm 70 is the most advanced tactical firefighting boat in the world. It's a mobile command center, a high-capacity pumping machine, a firehouse, and a primary patient care unit, all in one package. Because we work in aluminum, ultimately we have to get these parts cut and formed into what you see here. The high-speed aluminum Firestorm 70 is the most advanced tactical firefighting boat in the world. It's a mobile command center, a high-capacity pumping machine, a firehouse, and a primary patient care unit, all in one package. Because we work in aluminum, ultimately we have to get these parts cut and formed into what you see here. Building out of aluminum is important for a number of reasons, primarily the fact that it's lighter than fiberglass and not as easily damaged. So in order to get a boat to do 45 knots, it has to be light. So one of it is aluminum. Aluminum is extremely strong and lightweight. It's customizable. We start with a sheet of aluminum and we can do just about anything with that. The other thing, it's easily repairable. If you happen to hit something with it, it's going to bend before it breaks. The Firestorm operates on the proprietary Kingston hull design platform. This provides the boat with additional lift. It's powered by a quad diesel engine, twin diesel generator, and water jet propulsion system. The way we build is not traditional. The traditional way is that you lay the keel with the backbones up. We do it upside down. Basically, this is where the pieces come in, and they simply get put on the boat. As you can see behind me, there's the first of many bulkheads. There's four in total. Bulkheads are there for a reason to stop water. If there's a penetration in the hull, the water will stop here. The second of the bulkheads is going down and being connected to the hull. The next step is the longitudinals, which ties in the frames and the bulkheads together. The Metalcraft fleet of fireboats numbers a dozen different models and has collectively been called into action countless times. With 70 fireboats already in commission worldwide, the company is currently building a Firestorm 40 model for dispatch to Melbourne, Australia. The next phase after this is the girders. The engine beds and the girders tie, in a more structural sense, the whole boat together. Metalcraft Marine has just laid the cabin onto the hull of its Firestorm 70 rescue boat. The hull is made next door, the cabin on this side. When they reach at a certain point, they both get painted, they come back, and then we bring them both outside underneath our 75-ton crane, assembled together, one on top of the other. Much like the hull, the strong back or the jig is brought in, the deck is laid, and the cabin is built. But this time, it's built upright, as opposed to the hull being built upside down. The water cannon, or monitor as it's known in the trade, is critically important in order for the FS-70 to successfully fight fires at sea. Once construction's been completed, Metalcraft will subject the Firestorm to intensive sea trials before it's deemed ready for delivery to the client. We do several trials, straight from calm waters up to uh, five, six, seven foot seas. We need to know what the vessel will do. Building boats for maximum power rather than pleasure. Its Firestorm 70 rescue vessel is a workhorse. The quad diesel inboard engines are matched to water jet propulsion units that can thrust the boat to speeds of 42 knots. We've got twin Caterpillar gen sets. Moving ahead, we've got two fire pumps. We got four hail water pumps capable of about 3,000 gallons per minute each. So we spit over 12,000 gallons per minute when we're full bore pumping. To accommodate the long days at sea between fires, the FS-70 carries basic creature comforts in its galley and offers sleeping options for up to four crew members. This area is often used as a command center. We have four berths here. As you can see, we've yet to put the cushions down, but we're still in sea trial mode. Above deck, the Firestorm is outfitted to handle a wide range of emergency situations. 
This area is gonna be used for EMS typically, some storage spots for say a defibrillator. On the port side here, we've got an EMS bench. Next, we're gonna go up into the wheelhouse, back to the brains of the boat. We're at station two, which is the main control of the vessel. This is where the helm is. This is where all the navigational equipment sits in front of you. And on this screen in particular, it gives us wind directions, gives us depth, and gives us the chart system so that you know where you're sitting at at the time. The ship's various water hoses are engaged via this switchboard. Operators are never at a loss for steering the boat, which is equipped with powerful searchlights for low visibility conditions and with infrared for when there's none. You can see the white that's underneath the vehicles. That's showing the heat sensitivity underneath. That's the heat signature. The second navigation area is communications related. What we have up in the bow here is we have two monitors. They can be controlled at the dash, at the console itself, where the fire station is, or it can be controlled by a handheld remote control. The front of the wheelhouse has an emergency hatch that goes down below. You'll also notice that it has two emergency lights on the front of it, so that any vessel that's in front of you, they'll see that and they'll stand clear of the emergency. The bow is shaped as a uh, flat front so that you can unload and load people from other vessels or from docks. At the top of the wheelhouse, we have an arch structure up on the very top with a mast. And on that mast, you will find a FLIR camera that is facing forward right at this point, navigational lights, floodlights for the purpose of working around the areas uh, at nighttime, and of course the stang. The search beams are so strong that you can actually feel the heat from them as far as 50 feet away. The FS-70 also comes equipped with plenty of storage and an array of hidden features that enables the crew to fight a fire from virtually any given point on deck. We also have two 1250 gallon per hour monitors, small ones, and they're all hand. Uh, you can work the nozzles up and down by loosening the knobs or go side to side. And at the back of the boat are life rafts in the event disaster strikes. To deploy that, we have a crane that's set up to actually put it over the side. The boat has two life rafts that can be deployed. The Firestorm 70 has earned its stripes, thanks in large part to its power-packed engine compartment. Each C-18 has uh, 1,150 horsepower. What we have down here is we actually have the jet, which is the propulsion, the, the, the portions of the boat that actually push the boat. And everything can be controlled down here as well as at the helm. The sides are reinforced with strakes. These are used to go alongside hard objects and give support on the side of the vessel. The high-speed aluminum Firestorm 70 is the most advanced tactical firefighting boat in the world. It's a mobile command center, a high-capacity pumping machine, a firehouse, and a primary patient care unit, all in one package.